This is MikeBot. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the Anchor Make M5 print failure. So I had a catastrophic print failure as you can see. The AI system failed to detect it and stop it or even notify me. And uh, during this failure, uh, the cable, the hot end heat cable melted for some reason and snapped off and broke from the uh, control panel on the board itself. So I'm basically going to be going through uh, the steps to kind of take apart the entire hot end and replace it. Figured I'd take advantage of this uh, miserable moment that I suffered. I didn't actually start filming right away, so I'm going to use these pictures here to tell you where to start. So go to the back of your anchor make and undo the four screws I'm showing right here. Once you have removed the cover, you should see something along the lines of this. So basically, uh, the next step from here, you're going to need to remove this unit right here with the screw. I've already removed it in this video. So this is about where I decided to start filming properly. So next, what you want to do is you want to remove the two little exhaust units there. I did this a little bit differently than Anchor, but I'm very comfortable with uh, tools and 3D printers. So uh, this is what I did and I wanted to make sure everything was clean. So I removed the two little exhaust things because as you can see, the plastic is popping out on them. So I unscrewed them. I believe they were held together by two screws that were connected to the uh, fan for the uh, cooling system. So. As you see here, I am removing them and the blobs coming out, but I ran into an issue. The hot end heat cable actually is fused into the filament and snapped out. So uh, my hot end heat cable was actually melted, unfortunately, and the uh, heat uh, plug is basically broken and you'll see that later on in the video. So at this point, I'm basically trying to work my way around and remove everything without snapping it. This is very, very difficult to do. So I ended up using a pair of scissors. I'll just fast forward a little bit here and uh, proceed with the remainder of this video. So you wanna start slowly cutting away here without getting the cable. That's the only way to get it off really. So take your uh, scissors that came in the kit and slowly start snipping away at the filament. Be careful not to sever the heat cable or the thermistor cable or they'll be completely garbage. Now in my case, this hot end is garbage in my opinion, it's not recoverable. But in case yours is, slowly, slowly snip away and you'll be able to get it off just like I did there. So the next portion here, I'm basically just removing more screws and more parts because I, I realize how bad it is. I need to get this hot end really, really clean, so I'm removing as many parts as I can and I filmed it from my records. Make sure you snap pictures so you know where everything goes. Uh, I ended up removing the fans as you can see and a few other things. So next what I'm doing here is I'm removing the uh, hot end. So there's two screws inside the hot end. Once you unscrew those, the hot end should come out completely and it'll pull down. You need to give it a little bit of power to pull down. Make sure you remove the filament in the previous step. So basically we're missing the clip here where I pulled the uh, hot end out. So you grab the hot end and remember it's hot. So mine had cooled down at this point and you pull down very hard. Once you pull down, you set it aside. You take the new hot end, take the heat sink off it and force it back in and then put the two screws back inside the uh, nozzle from underneath. So now I'm going to go ahead and begin the um, reassembly process. So I went above and beyond and unscrewed a lot of stuff because I wanted to make sure everything was clean. And uh, you don't need to have the fans dangling like I do and all that. But uh, basically, uh, it should be easier to reinstall everything if you didn't do what I did here. So as you see, there's the casing for the fans. I had to reinstall everything. It's a bit of work, but if you want to get a thorough clean, it kind of needs to be done. And that also involves little plastic exhaust vent pieces, whatever you want to call them. I cleaned those thoroughly and I reinstalled them. So I do want to take this moment to apologize to everyone and the uh, rushness of this video. Uh, I was in a panic. I couldn't document every single step. Uh, this video is just for your own reference. You don't need to follow it, but I figured it'd be good for everyone just to see what I did and what I went through. And hopefully you don't need to go through what I went through. So at this point, I've basically reassembled everything. And um, as you can see, now I'm going through my testing. So I'm going to run a little quick preheat, uh, then do a homing 
and then I extrude some filament and everything worked fine. I'm still skeptical the printer is not going to catch fire with the uh, clip being broken on the control board, but time will tell. That's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Again, this video is for your reference. It might not be perfect or a good video to follow, but at least uh, it's there for everybody to see. Thank you all for watching today. Mike Bot.